Now that you have just the tread pattern left, I'm going to use the grinder with a cutting disc, a very thin cutting disc, so it cuts through quicker. And I'm going to separate the tread into one long piece instead of an open piece. See, it doesn't always work nice. The disc is kind of chunked out a bit, which isn't fun. That's one of the uh, hazards of using a thin disc, but it does go through faster. There are no sharp belts to get cut on. And now you've got a pad tire that you can actually put out a little bit flatter. So that's essentially what you do to make yourself a dock tire for doing tread it on the dock walkway in a cow barn, um, out in the field, anywhere you really need to. And if you really, really want to know how a blasting mat is made, especially the big heavy duty ones, we need about 150 transport tires, all done like that. You gotta get them all together, holes get punched through, the cables get run through, and then they're all pressed together and everything is clamped and like I said you need about 150 of them and they're about eight and a half to ten feet wide so it takes quite a bit and like I said 150 treads at least that's what we used to do when I worked in blasting that company and that is how you do it